Welcome to the OU Campus uh, Content Management System training session. This is the first of seven videos that will walk you through the training session for the OU Campus Content Management System. Uh, if you're watching this video, you will have already uh, requested an account and your account will have been placed into the access group for your particular website. So what you'll do is well, if you want to log into the Content Management System or CMS, you will go to your website and then log in from the website. You don't have to log in from your home page. You could log in from any page. Uh, typically, it's a page that you want to edit. So what you would do is you would navigate to a page that needs editing. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, the gray bar at the bottom is the footer. If you click on the copyright symbol, that is the login button. And what you will get is you'll get your NetID login screen. I've already logged in, so it'll automatically take me into the system. Uh, after you enter in your NetID and password, you'll get to this view. Um, you'll see OU Campus in the blue bar at the top. You'll see your page in a preview window. You'll also notice this light bulb is turned on. That means once you uh, log into a page, uh, that page is checked out to you. And we'll talk about checking in and checking out in a few minutes. Um, but the page is checked out to you, and now you can edit it. You'll see there's an Edit Main Content button. So if you want to edit the what we call the main content area of the page, which is at the top of the page, usually next to a side navigation, you will click Edit Main Content. A toolbar will drop down, and the editable area will be highlighted. You can then make whatever changes you need to make to the page. And once those pages uh, changes are done, the first button in the toolbar is Save. When you click Save, you'll see the page will refresh. Your changes will have taken place. And now you'll have the option to, if you want those changes to go live, you will have the option to publish those changes by clicking the Publish button at the top. You'll notice that um, if this was a new page with a lot of new content, I can run a spell check or a link check or an accessibility check. Um, but this, since this was just a short correction, uh, a short change, um, you wouldn't really need to do that. We do suggest that you type in a short uh, version of what you did. Um, the system does have versioning, so it saves every published version of a page, and you can revert back to previous versions, and if you have a little note attached to each version, it's easier to identify uh, those uh, past versions of the page. But once you type in a short description, if I click Publish, the, publish, uh, the page will publish immediately and will be live on your website. You do have the option to click Schedule, and then you can schedule that publish to take place at a specific future date and time. And because this is checked, when that hap publish happens, you'll get a copy, uh, uh, you'll get an email saying that the page is published. But if you just want the page to publish right away, you can click Publish. You'll see a status bar appears at the bottom, and then it says the page has been published success successfully. And you can click View in a new window, and then view the page in a new browser window. So that's most of what you're likely to do. Uh, log into the site, edit a page, um, publish it. And once you're logged in, if you want to make further changes, you don't have to go back to your website and click on the copyright symbol and log in again. You're already logged in. Now you can kind of navigate around to other pages uh, to work on. Um, what you can do, you can go up to the top here. You'll see what we call a breadcrumb trail. So this particular page was called Staff Boxes. It was in the About section of my test site. If you click on Pages, or if you go to Content Pages, it takes you to the same place. It takes you to what is a, sort of a list view of your website. These are the pages and folders within the About section. If I go back one level, it takes me to the a root level of my site. And so here you'll see all of the folders and web pages within uh, my site. And you'll notice as I mouse over each row, there are some options that appear here on the right-hand side. I can publish a page directly from here or schedule it to publish from here. I can preview a page. I can uh, edit a page. And I could also, uh, in the last option, File, I could rename the file, which is renaming the file name. I can move the file to another folder or subfolder. I can make a copy of that file. And recycle bin is sort of like delete, but we call it recycle bin because you can retrieve those files later on. Um, and they're not permanently deleted. 
Um, another thing to notice while we're in this view is you'll see two tabs here for staging and production. When you're in the CMS, editing a page or creating a new page or uploading a file, you're always going to be in the staging environment. When you publish a page, you're actually pushing a copy of that page from staging to the production server, also called the live server. So when a user goes to your website, they're actually looking at the site on the production server. Uh, you do have access to both servers through the CMS, but the vast majority of the time you're going to be working in staging, either working on a page or uploading files. Um, other views to look at, when we go back to our root level again, you'll see all of the files and folders within your site. Um, you'll see an images folder, which is where you'll upload all your images. You'll see a PDF folder or sometimes a docs folder. That's where you'll upload files like PDF files or Word docs. Um, sometimes you'll see within a section folder, um, like about or people or programs, those are content sections. Um, within that content section, you'll have an index page or a home page for that section, and then the other pages within the section. Uh, sometimes you'll have images subfolders within a content section. That's fine as well. The main thing to remember is to make sure that when you upload images, they're always to an images folder, whether they, li whether they live in a section or whether you're uploading them to the main images folder. Um, all these other files, these are all these PCF files are your web pages. PCF stands for Published Control File. That's just an internal file name for OU Campus. Um, the index page, if you're looking at the root level, that's the home page of your site. And like I said before, every section will usually have an index page or a home page for that individual section. One last folder to look at is the Includes folder. Include files are files that are included on every page of your site. So your header, your red top navigation, or your footer at the bottom. Those are all includes and you have access to all of them. For example, if I needed to add a link to my top navigation, I would go to my includes folder and click on top nav and I will be able to edit that. So if I needed to add a link in here, I can do that. Uh, and then when I save and publish the file, that link will appear in the top navigation. So you have access to pretty much everything on your site. To see versions, go to the file view and when the page is checked out, you go to Review Versions. The current version in staging is at the top, and it's usually the live version. You can view or compare the version, the page, or the source code to the live page, and you can also revert to a previous version. Reverting will make that earlier version the current version in staging, and then you can make changes to that version. And if you publish it, it will become the new live page. For complete help documentation on our OU Campus content management system, please visit our support site at stonybrook.edu slash OU support.